Jared is looking for a second date update with a lady named Alana. Hi, Jared. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thanks for taking my call. Well, thanks for putting yourself out there. Why don't we start from the beginning? Tell us how you met Alana and how that first date went. We'll go from there. Okay, cool. We met online, and we actually went out two times. The uh, first time was like a little coffee date, and Mm -hmm. then a few days later, a real dinner date, like the real deal. Nice. So anyhow, it felt like a great date. We got along really well. We had a lot in common. We even have like the same backgrounds and careers and life philosophies. That helps. There's a lot of stuff to argue about these days, and we argued about nothing. <laughs> Go figure. That's nice. It even seemed like there was physical attraction, as far as I was concerned there was. And uh, when I drove her home afterwards, even though she didn't invite me in, she initiated a really long kiss. Ooh. And uh, it was nice. It wasn't awkward. I didn't push it at all. And it just felt great. You know, the whole thing felt great. I like that. It's cool. like old school making out. Oh, and yeah. she just laid one on you and she slammed me up against your car. I know. <laughs> but there's potential. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe like next a, time. A good, long, lingering kiss. Like, when was the, yeah, like with was my definitely. partner, Scott, like, we don't just. Don't you just make out any ma- anymore? Just no, we hang always got to go from make out. first to home run. Well, we pulled apart. There was no drool. It, it was like a perfect kiss. So All anyhow, right. I thought I'd be seeing her again. And here we are. I'm coming to you because she's not returning my calls. She's not returning my texts. Hmm. I'm getting, I don't want to be a stalker. So at this point, I don't know what to do. That's a bummer. You have this nice lingering long kiss. Two great dates. Everything seems perfect until the end. You reach out, and you get nothing from her, correct? Just air. Nothing but air Jeez. and silence. Hmm. Any theories? Any ideas? Obviously, there, were, there didn't seem to be any awkward moments or anything like that. Maybe she seemed somebody else. That's uh, what I thought, but I didn't want to say it. Uh, I know. That's creeping in there, for sure. Yeah, maybe somebody uh, else's. I, she didn't seem like that. She didn't seem the dishonest type, but, you know. Maybe well, no, I just didn't know if, like, maybe someone from her past showed back up. Showed back up, or uh, you said you met her online. Is she dating more than one person, sort of playing the field right now? I mean, that wouldn't be surprising. That wouldn't be the end of the world, but she could have told, I don't know. She doesn't seem like a dishonest type. I know, but you see these bachelors and bachelorettes on TV, you know, they're they're effectively dating leading up to choosing a fiance and they're making out with multiple people. Is that necessarily a bad thing? I guess I'm old school. Well, you can only hand, well, handle one at a time. One is enough. Fritch, do you fault, like, the, if the bachelor goes on more than one date within a given week, you know, with, say, like, these three or four girls that he really likes? Yeah. And, he, and he's making out with them. You know, don't you see that as sort of an audition? Like, does that mean he's committed? Is it skeezy if he makes out with more than one person? If I was in the situation, I would find him very skeezy if I knew he was making out with everyone. But as a viewer, I watch it, and I'm like, how is he not making out with everyone? You know right. what I mean? He's going on a different date every night of the week but i do find it skeezy sometimes when he's blatantly making out with them in front of the other women oh, like they can nice. all see it no. yeah. yeah that's kind of yeah. weird all right well jared let's take a break here uh i'll put you on hold fritz will get the phone number from you we'll call alana and see what we can get out of her oh, I know. stick around that's coming up next as we continue with second date update with jeff and jen cincinnati's q102 <laughs> Jared met Alana online. They actually went on two dates, coffee and then dinner. And these two have a lot in common. They have similar backgrounds. I think you you said you're working in the same field? Yeah, we're both in marketing. So Awesome. Uh, you said similar philosophies, too, just about life and things in general. Yeah, we didn't fight about politics, which is a good thing. And uh, you sensed a mutual physical attraction, which was evident through the nice long kiss she initiated at the end of her date. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. It was a <laughs> mutual kiss, I swear. I mean, that sounds perfect, doesn't it? It really does. I would think. I thought it was. Uh, who knows? Yeah. I, I'm about to find out. I'm kind of scared. I know Jared has reached out on a couple of occasions to set up like a third date with her, but unfortunately, nothing but air. So we're going to call Alana, see what we can come up with, and see what's up. Let's do it. Hello. Hi, can we speak to Alana, please? Speaking. Who's calling? 
Alana, it's Jeff and Jen at Q102. Hi. How are you this morning? Hello. Jeff and Jen, okay. Sounds like you listen to the show. Yes, I know what this is about. You already know why we're calling. And I know who you're calling about. Ooh, oh, she is on it. All right. You want to talk about Jared and fill us in? Um, he said, I guess. He's so confused because he said right up until the end, you guys shared this nice, long, passionate kiss and said there, there was no drool or anything. <laughs> The whole date, he said, sounded pretty perfect. You guys are very similar, similar backgrounds, philosophically in line. What is he missing? Well, we did have a great time. The thing is what I found out afterward. I was telling my sister about him, and I, I showed her a picture, and she said, oh, well, he dated one of my friends. Uh Uh-oh. So your sister knows him, kind of. Well, she said that he had dated one of her best friends, whom I also know. Uh, I don't know her very well, but I I do know her. So according to my sister, at that point, she said that she had broken up with him because he had a tiny penis. That's what she told me. (laughs) Really? Yeah, so that gave me pause because I have to admit I wouldn't be into that. Well, when you say the word tiny, what are you envisioning? Because that's very subjective. I mean, are we talking about a micro that's like literally the eraser head of a number two pencil? No, I mean, you know, small is small. Like, women know. And, and I've had that experience before, and I really didn't want to have it again. Like, why waste anybody's time? That would not work for me. Oh, so no. Okay, so after hearing that, you decided you, even though you, you liked him, you didn't want to see him again. Yeah, I mean, I was really disappointed. And it's not one of those things you can see, you know, like a woman's chest. You kind of know what's going on. I just didn't want to get to that point and be disappointed but then this is so ridiculous then my sister called me a few days later and said she was mistaken and uh, what how do you mistake that she had him confused with another of her friend's exes oh geez yeah so So now you want to go out with him now that you know his little his little man's not so little well sources say uh that it's not only small but it's huge and he knows what to do with it oh for the love i am not buying this well that's what i was told women talk too much we talk too much and we share too many details and we get far too up in everybody else's business everybody talks but sometimes a sister is helping a sister out by telling her what she can expect so anyway (laughs) not only did i find out that actually so she had mixed up the guys this guy has you know A big one, and he knows what to do with it, and he's also a super nice guy. That's what I was told. So, yes, I was going to call him in light of this new information. So I found out you had a horse, (laughs) so now I'm into you. So how did that conversation go? Oh, my God, I'm so sorry I didn't get back to you. I've just been so busy. (laughs) It's embarrassing. What are you doing right now? I wanted to know the truth, and that's the truth. And, you know, I do think he's a good guy, and it's Good to know that he has, um, you know, all the anatomical necessities. <laughs> hey, look, we appreciate the honesty. Yeah. I want to know how he feels about yeah, this. Yeah, like, as do a you dude, go, I, I, don't I don't get know. good vibes from this. Jared? You, same. It's so shallow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of oh, what I on. thought. <laughs> For real, or are you just messing with her? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, Jeez. Uh, it's nice to know that there's reviews out there. Uh be tough to live up to some of them it sounds like but i'm willing to try okay. i mean in the end i mean in the end the, the actual review on you the one the first review wasn't even about you it was a mistaken identity what were and you the thinking? actual real review you got was phenomenal what, what were you <laughs> thinking when you heard her say that she thought you had a tiny <laughs> i was gonna prove her wrong i was gonna say hey let's uh let me Show send you a pic real quick. Like, I don't know who you've been talking to. Or... Just open up your front door. Right. And, uh, Whoa. We'll bust on in. No, yeah, but how do you I, feel I about her? Forward. Like, did she like, she didn't, like, she liked your personality, but heard you had a small peen and was not going to go out with you. How now did that she, make you feel, yeah. Jared? I mean, do you care? I think, I think, well, I would if I did. If I did have one, that would kind of hurt, obviously. But yeah. I'm well, okay, let me just ask so you this: How's your circulation? It's good. <laughs> okay. Well, just checking because if it doesn't work, she may be out again. Mm. 
I'll come down to the station if you guys want to. Uh, no, we've gotten <laughs> plenty of pics on Facebook Messenger. We're yeah, right. no, no. Doubt. Let's let Tim gets plenty of pics. <laughs> well, Rich has got some too. That Have guy that can some? do the, the guy puppet that show keeps with emailing it. me, oh. and then the girl that's like, you know, the guy. I'm like, I'm not. I don't know you people. Yeah, I don't even write them back. I just delete, and it keeps happening. Gotcha. Now they're gonna hear that and be like, oh, she read them. They yeah. got exactly the reaction they were looking for. <laughs> no yeah. reaction. All right. So what do you guys say to going out again then, Jerry? Do you sound open to a second date still? I mean, that's why you called. You wanted to know. Now you know. Sounds like you're still in. We know Alana's in. I'm in, so to speak. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Nice. Okay, great. All right. We're setting it up. Awesome. Cool. Guys, it's been a while. This is wonderful news, everyone. Yes. I I still don't think it's going to last. I am so. I don't think it's going to last. I don't know why I feel like this, Mm -mm. but I'm feeling kind of the yuckies. Will you guys stay in touch and keep us posted? We will. Okay. I will. (laughs) All right. Good luck. No, you will. All right, guys. Thanks again. Have a great day. All right. All right. If you need our help with a second date update, all you have to do is send us an email. Jeff and Jen at WKRQ.com. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast. Brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.